internet. It's almost here. We only had to wait about two years since the end of last season, but the new Overlord movie, in which we get to see our resident bony boss ruin the day of some unholy biznatches, will be released in Japan in the coming weeks. And the ice cream sandwich of a war between Nazarik, definitely not Nazarik, don't look any more into this, and the poor mortals caught in the crossfire will commence. There will be drama. There will be chaos. There's gonna be carnage. No more stalling. If this is your kind of content, I would appreciate a like and a sub. Let's get it. Now, when Overlord first released during the long, long ago, it was awesome. an amazing ensemble of sociopaths and lunatics, a MC with the power of a god in the inside of a rubber duck, and a throwaway line taking a heart and transforming the entire plot of the series. We watch him wash a family of angels and speed run the guild's ranking system in season one. Then he commandeered a horny lizard man village and gave a small reminder that they are a problem in season two. Then he almost sent the Dollar Tree Gilgamesh to the psych ward and got himself a city he found on Craigslist in season three. And the studio decided to show us the future in which they demolish an entire kingdom in season four. I say show us the future because the story of the Holy Kingdom movie takes place in between the events of seasons three and four. And what a story. We get to watch our band of evil creatures that stand a skeleton take on the Robo Holy Kingdom through the eyes of a high schooler going through a phase. And of course, we have to set up a plot in which Eins is going to fix a problem his people created. And the problem this time is his people. Turns out the class is pushing, reptile looking, scheme cooking Demiurge has been amassing an army and rampaging through the countryside. And wouldn't you know it, but their magnum opus is the Holy Kingdom itself. Now Eins can roll through, tell his homies to dip, and stare out at a crowd of common folk like, You will find I am kind. As long as everyone sticks to the plan. Now, I've read a portion of this arc in the light novel, so when we get shots like this in the trailers and teasers, I gotta go, oh! I'm not caught up on the ending, so my hype is still at peak form. The fact that this is a movie makes me happy and sad. Happy because of that sweet movie budget the studio gets to play around with, but sad because now the entire arc has to fit into... Hold on, give me a second. Mm. Oh, shit. Two hours and 15 minutes? Dope. But still, I'm gonna check it out no matter what. What do you guys think? Are you ready to rumble or are you gonna skip this one like an ad on YouTube? Let me know in the comments. I'll catch you in the next one. Later!